road to the city. A boat is needed to travel to Elfhelm, wary of the mysterious men who control beasts, guts, and the party make their way for the giant port city of Ritanus. Yeah, is that right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but that is what we're taking on this in today's episode. How are you guys doing? This is your boy G2K, and we're here with some more Berserk and Abandoned Hawk. Before I jump into today's mission, I just got to show you guys, and I, as well as just thank you so much for the love and support you've been showing in the last couple of videos. It has been crazy and listen i love talking to you guys too down in the comments below keep doing what you're doing i really really do appreciate it keep liking and subscribing but let's go ahead and continue i made sure i did that off screen grind for you guys these had not been collected i messed up some of these and i got all the uh the and i didn't even know that we was on like the nine star difficulty doing these i stopped counting now we're on the max there's this one here but um yeah we we've got these all done and i actually had one that i could not do all the way here the eclipse this one was really really hard to do like i struggled at the beginning at the time when we did it but i managed to go back and finally get it so yes we are making very good progress and if you want to see more progress here guys you got to figure my bang out we all knew guts was 99 yeah <laughs> but i did some some really hard grinding right here you ready there for you ready for this okay so wild is 85 Zod is 85, Shriek is 85, Serbco is 85, Judo is 85, Gask is 85, and Griffith is 85. Listen, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. This is, um, I kind of went in, I went a bit crazy. I, I was trying to get everyone to the levels required for the Endless Eclipse. So, like, when the story's done, we can just jump straight into Endless Eclipse. It's, it's done because I'm going to do a series of the last, literally, like, five levels of that, which are, like, the hardest things, but on every single character. So, that's going to be nice and entertaining little and a little bit for itself. But I just wanted to do... Um, I wanted to get everyone up to level and slowly get everyone up to the level in terms of the floor, the layer required that I could do right now. So, instead of me starting at level 0, now I can start at level 61. And the next level I can start as level 81, but I won't be able to unlock anything past layer 75 until I believe the end of the story. So it looks like we're kind of stuck where we are. I, I just did that grind and I literally went in and everyone is good in their own way. Like today's episode, we can actually use different people. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. I promised you guys that I'll use someone else. I am actually going to use uh, Shuke um, or Shriek, however you say it. And I always say it wrong. I don't know. I just, don't butcher me for it. But we're going to go ahead and use her. But yes. Let me go back to what I was saying. You guys have been absolutely amazing with the love and support you've been showing me. Keep doing what you're doing. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm, I'm going to show you how good this this little witch is. Because she she amazing. She actually, like, she, she knows what she's doing in this, innit? But hold on. Let me buy it. Like, as you can see, my money's really low right now. Like, I spent a lot. Uh, usually getting someone up to, like, a certain level and then bumping up one or two was quite cheap. It's just the grind of the Endless Eclipse def definitely helped in terms of what do you call it getting those characters up to the level that was required so yes okay uh what has she got she got dexterity yeah okay i need this dexterity for her okay so she's very different to everyone else so there's no behelets in in this mission too this is just a, a random okay we get into the city we need to fill this gap so guts and a party are suddenly attacked by some strange creatures the beasts are being controlled by the magi from kushan their motives for attacking Guts' party is unknown. In order to find a boat to reach the elven homeland, the party heads towards Ritanus. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with that. Where the, uh, the armies of the Holy Sea are gathered. Ritanus is a large harbor city and the stronghold of the Holy Sea territories. I believe that should be the last part of said story. Like, there shouldn't be much more. Uh, let go ahead and make for the escape point with everyone. Okay, so we're escaping. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's fine. She, funny enough, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like um, Shoke at first, but she kind of grew on me quite a bit because her, I can't lie, attack wise, like power wise, she's actually very, very strong. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean right now. Um, this aspiration magic as well as the golem. Look at the way right now, because it lures everyone in, it pushes everyone in like a black hole. Look at the way our technique. Um, our frenzy gauge is about to like it just constantly feels really quick with her and the problem is i keep everything very standard until i can go frenzy mode with her because once i do do that with her she becomes exponentially stronger like literally i okay now with like the berserker armor guts yeah i haven't seen many changes in terms of like there, there are significant changes when it comes to frenzy like there, there are big like strength differences once i get to that level with certain people i've noticed that with certain um, characters on this game 
they make a huge difference but so far the one that stands out quite a bit aside from guts of berserk karma which literally annihilates everything in its path is literally um what do you call it is shirake and when she literally goes crazy so what i'm gonna do is she's spell cast uh, no he's a spellcaster let's do um summon golem as well i'm about to go crazy for you and you'll understand what i mean like literally the the stuff that she can do and look at look at the damage i look i already got our death blow gauge already it's actually insane like if you want to know how much damage this does it's, it's stupid there's ridiculous amounts of damage but let's see let's see I actually really like like I said she's really grown on me like when I first used her I generally like questioned the game I generally went like why, why, why are you making me play as her um but she actually has like her own thing going on like I've slowly learned her combos as I, I've gone on to use her more because I'm like okay you know what she's getting interesting I want to know oh wait they've gone down why are you going down the middle way I didn't want to go yeah you know what cool 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 um it looks like these ones these lots want to go here so I'm gonna do the problem is with with Shirake is her defense sucks so I I lose a lot of health sometimes like look look at the way the frenzy bar filling it goes up quite quick with the golem in the middle me doing a standard combo I keep doing the standard combos I'll be I don't uh because the problem is until she goes into frenzy mode you have to take a minute to pause and enchant the the spells but once she's in frenzy mode you don't need to wait anymore so now i could do this fire and this big other sun looking thing's gonna burn everyone in the facility look, 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 look. All, all destroyed she's she's generally that that strong like that, that's how crazy it is for me i generally think she has a chance to be the strongest character in this game at, at certain points uh, I, you know what I, I bet you there's a big argument for that there's, but there's other people in that conversation I haven't got um, the Wings of Darkness Fem to Griffith yet, and I'm pretty sure he might be the most broken character in this game, purely because he's meant to be a god. So that is definitely going to be something that I want to see. And we can only unlock once we've done Endless Eclipse with, I believe, everyone on max. So I kind of want to get that soon, uh, very, very soon, so I can see what that is like. But honestly, I've heard so much cool things about it. As much as I hate the guy, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I really want to see how that pans out. <laughs> I really do want to see it um, See look if I do now if you see her look doing these like words and waiting I have to pause a second before I can actually use in, in Enhancements uh, no in enchantment sorry like spells purely because I'm not in frenzy mode So that's one of the main reasons why I try not to um, uh, Use uh, anything more than just a standard combos because they're pretty quick they do effective damage and her frenzy gauge feels like crazy like it doesn't take that long to feel so look if i do aspiration magic now everyone's going to be lured in there i'm going to do this here and look how many people are about to die it's easy i'll take out everyone here she, she probably i can't lie out of everyone that i've used i've had the most ease in taking down enemies with her uh i'll be 100 percent honest with that as much as i'm like oh come on man i love guts you know berserker armor she has generally taken down people with ease that i, I can't understand it generally blows my mind away how she can be that strong uh i'm not close enough to the base lieutenant so that's kind of a waste oh no 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 that's fine that's fine i did this anyways um we've taken this one down i think we only got a little bit more if this is the mission i reckon there'll be a boss which is perfectly normal in these types of missions but this is only a little filler i believe after this we should only have like maybe one two missions left which is really surprising we've got some people still stuck there in the back I'm going to see if I can go ahead and clear these enemies right now. Uh, I'm going to summon a golem anyways. Golem's pretty good. Uh, he's, his attacks, his damage goes towards my frenzy gauge, which is really helpful sometimes. So mission cleared. Everyone is here. Let's go and take down this base lieutenant. I'm pretty sure there's a boss that's going to be summoned or like some super strong enemy. And once that is done, this mission should be over as well. Yep, he appeared here. The boss of today's mission. So spellcaster. I'm gonna go nice and we're gonna have to take down all of them at some point but let me go ahead and escape the cave from everyone so I need to defeat eight people uh, but this is the main guy that we need to defeat uh, let me do some some yeah, chance some, some spells the problem is I get it interrupted which I don't like that's why I don't use it unless I'm in frenzy mode which I'm about to be in this guy are gonna die if people can if, if the other enemies can reach here whilst I'm taking down him it would be amazing because then it's just like one big hit i reckon yeah there's two of them right here so 
Oh, didn't die. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I got another one anyways. I'll just use it straight away. We got people coming. There's another... The, all of them are here now. Okay, so we've taken down the actual main guy. We've got this one here, which we're going to take down as well. Um, nice, 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 nice. Uh, let me see if I... Yeah. So, that, look, I've, I've done like three death blows already. And these guys... You know, it's, the difficulty is definitely good. Remember, I'm playing this on hard. We're on the max difficulty for the, the missions anyways. Things are starting to really, like, get there. Like, they're, they're not as easy as one would think so what's good though if i do this and i do this as well this tiger's gonna get stuck there and these missions are kind of not bad because the computers don't do too much damage but I, as an overall team when we're all fighting together he goes down pretty quick like listen a couple more combos he's look he's he's definitely confused and he's going to be taking loads of damage right now uh let me enchant anyways see if i can do the fire and then can i do the spinning fire one as well this does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. So now we've only got one. I didn't manage to take all the bases down, which is, you know, usually something I aim towards. But she okay, she's not so quick with her attack moves, so I don't really like that. Serpico, on the other hand, I'll probably have taken down all of the um sorry, all, all of the bases if I had the opportunity. But no. Let's go ahead. Uh let me do the water one as well is really strong. You saw me do that at the beginning. Uh let me see if I can get this one. There we go. See, look, look at my health with her. She takes um, a lot of, um, hold on, what do you call it, damage? Like, she's not the best defensively. That's the only problem I have with her. In comparison to Guts, who, to be honest, I do put a lot of time and effort into. So, understandably, he's going to be a bit stronger. Or well, even a little bit, to be honest. He's going to be a lot stronger. But the point is, is that the, the difference in the defense is a bit crazy. Go on, big stone. Can we take him down? No? Okay, let's finish you off like this. Thank you very much. Short mission. I did I did take a little bit of time there. Because listen, it's not cuts. If I used the berserk oh boy, you, you know how quick we, we would do things. It would be insane. But we didn't. We didn't. We, I promised you guys I was going to use someone else. And I, I listen, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. I do need to... The, the thing is with this game as well, there's only eight, character, eight, eight characters. Sorry. So it's a bit frustrating in that, in that sense. Like I wish there was more. However, I do need to get used to and familiar with everyone if I'm going to get them to 99 and, you know, Endless Eclipse uh, layer 99 as well. So she's gone up to 87, which is pretty good. Uh, and to be honest, I don't really get a lot of stuff that I use right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the that's the problem, man. Uh, pick up order. There you go. Um, so let me do... I only need to get rid of three. So th this is my current problem right now. I'm getting a lot of stuff that I don't actually need. And it's getting a bit overwhelming. I'm getting like, just, just too much. Too much. But it's normal. You know, doing Endless Eclipse, doing the stories, do, going back and getting all those missions, or all the uh, behelots, and then going back even further. And I was even doing something else that I didn't even show you, which is crazy. Whoa! Like a country of soldiers. It's actually a muster of armies from all the Holy Seas territories. What's wrong? No, nothing. It, it's just a little crowded. This air of turbulence has sent my body knows well. Hey, which army is the strongest? Hmm, let me see. From the equipment, I would say Tudor. But then the numbers must be must be taken into consideration as well and then the leader's character is also important how much as men trust him and how reliable he is so they should be strong with charismatic leader everyone likes if you're a man you get ahead by your own skills oh i recall a leader with some charisma sir griffith the mercenaries he led were the band of the hawk in the hundred year war between Midland and Tudor, he never lost to Tudor opponents. He was legendary mercenary leader. No, he sorry, he was the legendary mercenary leader who brought on the conclusion of the war. Yeah? I know that one too. Every man does. The Griffith dude was incredible too. But the Band of the Hawks Raiders captain? That guy was wicked strong. I mean, he cut down something like a hundred, no, a thousand opponents? But, ironically, it can also be said that the discord between Sir Griffith and the king was the cause of the fate of Midland's, uh, of the fate Midland suffers today? Chaos was about to engulf the city, from the mist of terror approaching from the sea. 
whole thing's about to kick off, man. Ah, man. Forget it. Not a single bite. We tried every ship captain in the city, but every ship has been command, uh, commanded as a warship or has accepted military-related commissions. All of them turned us down without negotiation. We overestimated our prospects. I assume something will work out as long as we reach the port, but it looks like this is going to be a bit different from how our journey's been left to chance so far. Um, would you mind leaving this to me? Uh, what? Fawn, you have some idea? Lady Fawnies, you don't mean... I'll be gone for a bit. Serpico! Oh, yeah, not gonna lie. Farney, Farney come clutch, man. Farney come clutch. I, and listen, you grow, you grow to love her too. She's very different. She's a very cool character as well. Um, what is the next mission? Palashka Invasion. So, okay. So, I'm not going to lie. I believe, I wrote to this. I, I left that on Berserk difficulty. Oh, yeah. That's what I was doing, guys. So, <laughs> damn. Okay. So, basically, what I've been doing, um, I'm planning to eventually get everything done on Berserk difficulty, which is insane, which is insane. But I was getting there slowly. Um, and it's more enjoyable in the beginning episodes as well, I'm not going to lie. But let me you know what, I'm not going to lie, for the last episode, I'm definitely going to stick to hard. Because uh, the way the health was going is not good. But I believe the following episode should be the very, very last one. If I'm wrong, if I'm mistaken, that is fine. I'm very, very sorry. But that should be the last one. And from that point on, we'll be doing the additional DLC scenarios as well as our Endless Eclipse layers. So please, please, please look forward to that. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and the love and support you show me every single time is absolutely amazing. Yes, this episode is short, but I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I should kind of keep it on a short one. I, I like to fit in one, two um, missions per episode, especially because I, I don't do things on a daily upload basis. I like to fit in a bit more for you guys. But this time around, we're gonna leave it to the road of the sea because um, this Pushaka invasion seems to be the last one if i'm mistaken i'm very very sorry but this is your boy g2k and next time we'll be taking on this mission that may be the last one for the story so stay tuned but yeah this is your boy g2k and i'll see you guys next time